Hey, what is up guys? CSGN Mike Chase here back again. Once again, with a new Madden 21 series. And this one, I don't know if you remember, if you've been subscribed to my channel now for a little bit, um, you might remember that I did do a series last year with the Tennessee Titans that was uh, not like my normal franchise. Not exactly like a normal rebuild, but it's sort of like a mix in between. Um, and I had a lot of fun with that. And I think for days when I don't feel like editing a full episode of a Raiders franchise, I feel like this would be the better way to go. Um, maybe some live commentary. Not 100% sure on that for the games, but just, you know, maybe something that we can get through in like 10 episodes and uh, move on to a new team. Um, cause I feel like that'll help me keep the Raiders franchise going. So I'm not just playing Raiders and editing Raiders and uploading Raiders. I would like for Raiders to sort of, um, I would like for that to be my, my, my series for the entire Madden 21 cycle. Um, but also still have other stuff to do in this game as well. So that's sort of why I'm doing this. And if you see, I'm sort of zeroing in on one team here, and that is going to be Washington football team. And we are going to, as I rub my eye, you can probably hear it in the mic, sorry. Um, I have cats. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with Washington football team. We're going to go with arcade. Um, relocation settings, disabled, and leave everything else the same. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, we're going to be going with Washington football team for this other series. Uh, for the for our Washington Rebuild series. And let's take a look at the roster real quick, actually. Um, this should be the newest roster with a couple trades. But I think the main thing here that we do have to look at is Dwayne Haskins. Now, Haskins is a 70 overall. Still a star development. So that is a plus for us. Um, he should develop somewhat decently once I get my development sliders in my XP sliders so we do have that going for us um, you know take a look at his ratings actually 89 throw power so th th these numbers these actually these numbers are all fine I think these are all decent numbers um, for a second year quarterback I feel like they're a little too harsh on him because I feel like this offensive line sort of didn't do a lot of them this left side of this line is not very good um, yeah, this is just not ideal, so that's going to have to get upgraded for sure. Uh, you do have Moses here, Morgan Moses, on the right side of the line. Decent center. And, uh, yeah, decent center. And then you have Sheriff here. I, I, I've already done that. I don't know why this game keeps doing this, but decent center. Fifth year guy, 28, so he should be good for, you know, a lot more years. Because it looks like offensive linemen don't uh, regress that hard. So we do have that to look forward to. So he should be good for a couple more years at with an 87 overall. Tight end room is not very good. Richard Rodgers, former Green Bay Packer. Logan Thomas, former quarterback. Um, and then we have Antonio Gandon-Golden. I like that name. 69 overall. Receiver... So there's that, Terry McLaurin, who is very good, 82 overall, a star development. So we have that going for us. Let me take a look here at the defense at a 4-3, Chase Young and Ryan Kerrigan. Then you have Montez Sweat on this team as well, who you hope is very good. Secondary, probably need to build that up. Uh, we do have, do have uh, Kendall Fuller here. At free safety, so there is that. Collins, linebacker, Ruben Foster. Uh, you know, probably gonna need some more youth in this linebacking room. Uh, Ruben Foster, though, 75 overall, so that's all right. Uh, special teams, that's whatever. Uh, make sure we have our edge guys set up right. We do. And Chase Young, so he's probably a superstar, at least superstar X Factor. So. I think a decent little base roster to start us off here. Um, the way we're going to play through this series, though, 
is the only games I'm ever I'm, I'm never gonna play a full game in this series. We are only gonna play division divisional games, and that's it. So we're only gonna be playing through the divisional games, which means twice against the Cowboys, twice against the Giants, twice against the Eagles. The rest will be all sim if we make the playoffs. We'll do play the moments for that, as well as I just shake my whole desk around. Um, so that is the plan. So let's, uh, that's not what I was trying to do. So let's do this training here. Shut up. I've already, I already know all this. What? Uh, so what we're going to do here is we'll make one of our key guys, Dwayne Haskins. We're just going to sim through the entire preseason. I'm never going to do any of those drills, so those will always just be on bronze. Just so we get our upgrade points here, make sure we uh, continue to try to develop Dwayne Haskins. Um, that's our goal for this series. I think I would like to use Dwayne Haskins long term um, as Dontrell Edmond Amon, uh, gets a plus three awareness, plus one deep route, plus one medium route, plus one release, and plus one spec catch. Upgrade, that's the only guy who gets an upgrade. I remember when they first brought this upgrade system in, like, I felt like almost no one got upgrades. I don't feel like it took a long time to get upgrades. These guys want to talk to me. I don't. I really don't want to talk to them. Uh, it's kind of disappointing to see where they've gone with the um, scenario engine. Just sort of how samey it is. Like, through the first however many weeks of Raiders I'm in. It's the same stuff as last year. Just sort of breakout players and guys not getting enough balls. Pause. So there we go. We get an upgrade here for Dwayne Haskins Jr. I would like to upgrade him. These menus are feeling a little weird. So we'll take a look at his ratings. He has an 89 throw power, and his uh, medium and deep accuracies probably need to come up. So uh, strong arm seems the one for that actually. Give him that upgrade. He gets plus one throw accuracy deep and plus one throw power. So now a 90 throw power and 80 deep accuracy. So I think we're just going to keep upgrading his deep accuracy. I think we're going to go with that. Get that medium and deep and throw power up. So going forward, the rest of these guys, we are just going to auto upgrade. All right. And let's move on to next week. As we take on the Jaguars, we are we lose to the Colts. That's fine. These guys don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to them. Do these upgrades. Do this training. This is something that probably needs to be redone moving forward. Sorry if you can hear construction. Uh, I think I've mentioned this a few in my videos. They're doing construction right in front of my house. Uh, they're tearing up the road. So. Um... Troy Apke. Let's just get zone on him. So he goes up to a 70 overall. And plus two awareness, plus one play rack, and plus one zone coverage. That's pretty nice. And the rest of these will just have the CPU. Sort of decide what it wants to upgrade. But like I said, this training, you know, it's been the same now, you know, for a couple Maddens, and I definitely think it's time to change this feature of the game. Um wants me to cut players I am just gonna have the CPU cut players all right as we try to get through here I don't know if I'll edit this out if you're hearing this I obviously didn't edit it out and just uploaded a, the raw file but upgrade these players get an upgrade here from Montez Sweat the speed rusher course so we play here in a 4-3 plus two finesse move plus one play wreck plus one tackle so that's pretty nice and uh yeah so you make the rest of that train to complete advance to the regular season and there we go so we're gonna set our goals here do some more upgrades, and that will be the end of the episode. Our goal here is probably going to be about seven wins, I think. I think this team can definitely win seven games. Um, 
if we're able to protect Dwayne Haskins. If not, then we might be looking, f you know, for another offensive line. Offensive line help next offseason is definitely something that we need to do for this team. Because um, I actually want to move forward with Dwayne Haskins. Um, I felt he got a bad rap for some reason last season. Like that Washington team was was awful. That offensive line gave up on him, on that team in general. I don't know if they gave up on him, but in general they just gave up. And I felt like Dwayne Haskins took a lot of brunt to that. wasn't allowed to sort of make the rookie mistakes that we've seen guys like Daniel Jones get to make. You know, Daniel Jones gets to go out there, fumble the ball eight times, throw a million interceptions. And it's like, oh, this kid has potential. Dwayne Haskins throws a few interceptions. It's the end of the world. So, Wes Martin, he gets an upgrade to a 66 overall. And that's an alright upgrade, I suppose. Uh, he can maybe be serviceable for us moving forward. But just that serviceable, serviceable backup. So, 53 overall, 77 overall team. Um, yeah, first game against the Eagles. Like I said, play the moments for all... Of the divisional games let's go take a quick look actually the damn show our schedule and that'd be like one of the first things on our thing would be our schedule so week one we take on the Eagles and then we don't sort of play again until week six and then we get the Cowboys and we get the Giants so you get a we get we start off the season against the Eagles and then we're gonna be simulating a bit so I think that first, or the next episode will probably be, we'll do the Eagles uh, week one. We'll get our draft class loaded in from Bengal, and because he has a draft class uploaded already. And then we'll probably do Giants Cowboys, and that'll be next episode. And then from there on, yeah. So it shouldn't take us too long to get through a season um, doing this how I have it planned. It should only really take two to three episodes to get through a season, so... Yeah, so rebuilds, but more of a long form sort of thing. So once again, if you guys support this series, support this channel, I really appreciate it. Hit like, hit subscribe. We are so close to a thousand subscribers. And I will see you guys next time for more Washington Redskins rebuild. Peace.